Hey everyone, Earth Day 2024, People versus Plastics. A venture that we are not stopping in the slightest, and there's nothing you can do. At this point, the best advisable option I could give, if there was one, would simply be to not bring up the subject of overshoot and ecological collapse with anybody. We are so astray in our frame of thought that it's futile trying to convince anyone of anything. And I've said this a few times before, I should just reiterate it, that we live in post-truth where anybody can be influenced by anything they read online. So there's no point in trying to clarify anything with anyone. You'll hear a variety of responses from it was planned, to anything and everything to discredit truth and to make it seem less uncomfortable to said viewer. So it's Earth Day, a marketing bonanza to remind ourselves that the Earth is disposable and greenwashing is another fairy tale we tell ourselves to perpetuate economically sustainable capitalism in quotes there. So, you know, just for your own sanity, uh, you should go on to live your best life in the remainder of our decade as we inhabit a stable, somewhat planet in regards to having access to food, fresh water, electricity, and all things that provide us habitat. Keyword is habitat. So, I'm just talking to you as a friend. I'm moving off grid, away from the psychopathy of society, where it, society, chooses to ignore data and evidence. That's not me making that up, I'm just reading what the clinical professionals are stating as such being this condition and its effects, how it changes one's behavior and society is a living being. I'm glad you're here with me to have someone to talk to. I have a personal relationship with many of you across the globe and I want to get off social media platforms and just maintain relationships with people around me where I move, get their phone number, you know, actually pick up the phone and call somebody and have them call me, vice versa. We can build a community even in the slightest that way because I've accepted that finding a intentional community in the States at least is a pipe dream okay and I've been known to have dreamy unattainable aspirations that end up knocking me over in the end with disappointment so I'm gonna keep my expectations at a minimum um, just the way our energy system is set up and the laws and regulations that have been put in place disables us from organizing, even in the slightest, to stop plastic pollution and billionaires from flying j private jets overhead at the minimum, and at the most, from even connecting with each other. You know, loneliness and uh, depression are just left, right, and center. Basically, mental illness is pervasive in our culture from every direction, you know, and especially so because how isolated we are due to the system's frameworks that we're supposed to operate in. And we've had enough time for the, the rising tide to lift all boats. And we just haven't seen the, a fruitful you know, benefit for anyone, I should say. So you know, I, I've also keep my expectations low with in life. At some point in your 30s or 40s, the sooner, hopefully, as you realize that you were just dropped in this bucket of life and you should have the 
expectations to live peacefully, but at this point, not to say is woe is me, this is not a pity party, okay? I have dignity. I'm not going to find a romantic partner who I'm attracted to, doesn't want children, is monogamous. I know polyamory is a big thing now, maybe because we're all so poor. Intelligent and has a good sense of humor, who isn't going to try to control me because that's what relationships often degrade to is a, is a tug and war of control. All relationships, unless you set firm boundaries. And if you transgress those boundaries, then you're likely a narcissist because each individual person is their own sovereign entity. And maybe we've taken that too far in our culture and society, you know? Everyone's the king of their own domain, has their own knowledge, can be the all-knowing, all-being creature that it can pose its will on each other and nature. We've lost our way. So, a few points I've made here. Uh, mental illness is all pervasive in our society. Um, and there's no escaping it. You know, perhaps why I've worked for myself for so long. Six years. But that's about to change. I'm applying for many jobs where I move whatever I can get. At the very least, I can do Instacart and go to the food bank, get SNAP, you know, welfare for the poor since we've given that to the billionaires. There's no reason why the underclass can obtain that. I don't subscribe to magical thinking or thinking that I know more than other people and I should impose that knowledge on others. I'm simply doing my job as a journalist and reporting the truth or as it is continuously updated by professionals in their field. And I seek loving companionship and friendships Although my expectations are, frankly, at the absolute bare minimum at this point, the best advisable option is to separate yourself from the insanity that is our culture as it stands. Easier said than done, I know. You have mortgages and rents and all that. I am privileged to be connected with someone who has enabled me to at least distance myself from this abomination we call a city. So, I guess these are just my thoughts, right? It's not valid to anyone but myself. But I'm going to hold true to my principles and stand by what I know and what I've been studying. In that sense, we have just a few more years left of stability, if you want to call it that. So, the time is now. Tell people that you love them. Be there for them. Be patient. Understanding. Exercise mindfulness and being considerate to what others have to say and feel. And do what you find pleasure in, as long as it doesn't affect other people or nature in the process. Easier said than done. We're forced to be in this frame, framework. We're framed. But for Earth Day, I just wanted to reiterate my love for life, truth, companionship, Diminishing one's ego and fear of attachment to people, places, and things, ideas as well. And do our best to be upright and honest individuals. Mentally healthy people control their impulses. Seek to always minimize harm to themselves and others. And are aware of the consequences of their actions. I should point that out again. If you can follow those things, you're probably in a committed relationship and tending to family. Understandably.
thank you for being here. Another few weeks and I will leave this dreadful chapter of my life. It has been an excruciating process filled with alienation, disappointment, near constant panic. Being alone doesn't help this. My friends, like you guys, are spread out all over the world. And so it's difficult to see each other. But thank you for being a part of this journey, this thing called life. We had no choice to be in. I'll see you around. Take care of yourself.